Hello everyone and welcome back to this special video. This last update on collecting all the Japanese language Tomokazu Kumiya cards. And this is not the end of a journey, this is more like an end of an era essentially. Like I've collected all the older cards and from here on out I will slowly enjoy all the new amazing cards coming up from Tomagazu Kumiya that's still going strong for luckily for us right and um, yeah I've, I've actually told uh, Kumiya-san about this uh, recently I think I believe last week or two weeks ago said to him hey um, hopefully you've seen my my progress I told him what, what I was doing and uh, he said to me that he was deeply moved he said, congratulations, did you finally achieve it? Thank you for collecting the Pokemon cards I drew. Even, you know, uh, he truly appreciates it. Uh, again, it was deeply moving, he said. And uh, yeah, he, he really appreciated it, uh, that, uh, you know, I, I'm a long time fan. I, I, I probably, I, I think I know him like since 2018. Yes, it's been a while now and we've talked a lot and we've shared a lot. And uh, he was, again, really, really moved that... Uh, I collect all of his uh, cards in the Japanese and here we are <laughs> my last update yes this is the last card I, I needed and the how, how this uh, I found this card was I probably think it's even more interesting I believe in, I said in one of my updates that um, the world champions pack cards they were very 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 difficult to get and, and not that they are not not rare of course they are not terribly rare of course these ones right but nobody bothers listing these or selling these because i'm, I'm yeah th this doesn't excite people for some reason you know people want the gold star jolteon flareon vaporeon Absol ex uh whatnot you know that's probably metagross EX in there. There's a lot of crazy stuff in World Champions Pack, which is essentially EX Power Keeps in English. So with luck, I could find these two, I believe. I believe this two, this one was from Japan. I'm not sure one of the. Somehow got lucky finding all of these two, three. This one, I had to post a tweet in Japanese saying. Hey, I am looking for this card. If you have this single card from the World Champions Pack from 28, uh, 2008, I will trade you gladly for that. So in a couple, I, I believe in it, not even in, in two days, or even in one day, my uh, friend in Japan uh, retweeted it, uh, even quoted it, I believe, yes, in, in his language. And uh, he could find one for me. And it was very funny as well. That person collected English cards, older English cards, from 2005 to, to you know, like the era, that, that, that EX era, Dumbra Pearl, that kind of era, to play, to make us old uh, league, old decks, essentially. And yes, there, there he is, and we, we managed to, to, to make a nice trade. Just a second, uh, there's a... Uh, Back again, sorry, my phone was not on silent. <laughs> this is not very annoying. In summary, we got a nice trade. He was happy, I was happy. I made sure I include a few extras. But just to for, for effort, you know. That person had not much to gain from essentially trading with me. And yet he still managed to find, uh, you know, find the effort to trade with me. An outsider, of course, right? And I uh, made sure he was very happy for that. Very very happy with the trade um you even include some uh, some of these spares they are not the pz10 but they are very acceptable for what they are and again at some point this was bulk for someone right this was bulk for someone very happy and with this the final card there we go that is complete final card yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy. I've been... Video, first video was uploaded on April 16. So, how many months it has been? So, April 16. 
May 16 is one. June. Okay, so like three-ish months. That is not bad at all. I thought it would take quite a lot more because some of uh, some uh, some of these cars are not always in stock. That was the challenge I faced. Again, same with this one. Some of these cars are not very loved for some people, and if they do, they are maybe sold out. And there we are. And let's just start with the beginning. And let's do this in the proper way, right? Reveal all the cards as they intended are. Again, I'm missing the roulette and uh, the the Lechonk, but it's all new, right? It's all new, recently released. I will get them eventually, just not now. I'm good with that. Yes, Fending Series. Again, for, I'm not going to go all in depth on these because there's just, just too much to talk about. Look at my past update videos. I will talk in depth of all. I probably have covered them all, right? Um, this is the... Just talk. These two are uh, not the same. You can see the, the contrast differences. One is glossy and one is not glossy. That's very important to know. This one is uh, matte. Oh, this one is glossy, sorry. Let me... Sh can the light catch that? Yes, there, there we go. And how this was released, I believe... Oh, that's a very long time ago. I believe this this is the original, I believe. And this was the reprint. You can see it's not, not as uh, shiny here. It's, it's matte. Yeah, you can, you can see it here. It is mad. Um, don't remember in which this product came from. Maybe in a CD pro... Uh, SSD pro uh, was it the CD? Pokemon Trade Card Game CD... Uh, what's it called again? Anyhow... <laughs> just let me, let me search it up. Just a second. Yes, back again. I've searched it up. The, this one, the non glossy version, was released in 1998. And a quick starter gift set, the red versus green deck. And yeah, that, that one got a few exclusive cards again, like these. That's a, a holo version of Scyther. That's also quite rare today. Um, really look it up. It's, it's very interesting. So there is a non holo, a non glossy version of the vending series Onyx. Keep that in mind. It's a very cool version. You don't see that every day. This is the. The Masaki promo, very, very difficult card to get. And in, in, in PZ10, it's near impossible because they will held in special pull, uh, special tabs here on the corners uh, and then mailed to you, which is <laughs> not very good for your, for your condition. Up next is more vending and then the Neo Genesis. Yeah, uh, I, I like them. Uh, yeah, quite cool. This is, of course, the band, the, the Sensort. Moo Milk. The, the, uh, the English variant, international variant. Got uh, made with different artwork. And uh, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> quite cool. For probably reasons you know, you can see why they, they have probably censored it. It's looking very weird. The, I think this is the best way to describe it, but also very cool. This one, Jinx. Still, a, 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 a very interesting story. This one got released, I believe, after uh, the Jinx got recolored into purple in the video games. So this card released after it has been, uh, you know, kind of censored in the video games. Still black here. And why, uh, you know, for many people, this this Jinx caused some controversy. It reminds people of blackface. That's just how it is, and yeah, I can see the I can see the argument why. <laughs> yeah, but it's a, a very interesting trivia you probably didn't know. I I think that's very cool to to know. What is also interesting is the new Genesis version also is just the same artwork they didn't bother to and make it purple at the time, long before Jinx had been censored into purple. This is a, um, was the Trainers Magazine promo. And I believe I have the magazine here. 
I, I hope I do. Just l let me let me let me switch my uh, room uh, for a second. Back again. Yes, I found them after uh, through a search <laughs> in my room. Got both of them. Yes, I'm very happy. I uh, got them at the time. This one is still sealed. So would you look at that? That's a uh, quite a unique, not necessarily rare, but unique find. You don't see that every day. But uh, yeah, it, it it came with this one. Uh, this this trainers magazine. Got the, the slow poke one as well. This is this one. Don't have it sealed, but of course, uh, again, I, I really, really like it. L let me let me just go through them, right? Probably many people have not seen this at all, so I'm very uh, eagerly uh, to show it off. <laughs> this is just a, literally a time capsule. This is the closest thing as a time capsule, really. It really shows the era. There it is, Luya. <laughs> I believe there's manga as well in this one. Yeah, some events in there you can see here. That's very cool. Oh yeah, that super secret super battle, you know, the SSB Mew to Tropical Mega Battle. Yeah, it's truly fantastic. Some of these pro events in there, the promo cards are just super bizarre, expensive and rare. It is the the, the manga. <laughs> Oh, and here they are referencing the English release. <laughs> and here's some merchandise. Good luck finding that today. Some of these are... You probably will see this maybe once. This is probably... Yeah, this is uh, Oyama, I believe. Koichi o Oyama. Some of this stuff is just insane. This is probably a side video. But again, le let me skim through this very quickly. There is uh, the one and only. I'll figure that out. You, if you don't know this person, I don't know where. Uh, you need to know this person. And I'll, I'll let you search it out for yourself if you don't know him. Man, th this is just so old. Yeah, probably. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. Th this, you, if you're lucky, you might you might find this. And there's been several versions of these, I believe so as well. Hello, trainers. <laughs> Again, okay, we got sidetracked. But I hope you've enjoyed that. So, the origin of these two is very cool. Yes, there we go. Um, second page, nothing crazy to show here besides, again, one promo. The touch generation change. Very, very crazy. And, and funny promo as well. You can see it here. Same. It's the same card. And this was... Very interesting backstory as well. This was to introduce the new back, which was of course to be meant to be universally, you know, the the, the new card back. But uh, Wizards cancelled this new back. <laughs> That's very interesting. If you know, uh, look up uh, Matt Matoba, MatobaDesign.com. You can find an article or maybe even a video that explains the whole origin the new card backs and why they were first of all meant to be universally international design you know hence the the the, the pokeball here and an international pokemon logo as well there's more to it than you might think but originally it, 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 it was intended to be in english as well so that's very cool uh mcdonald's promo here of um Tyroke. Besides that, nothing crazy here. There's the holo version. I'm looking at that one, it's very mint. Really, really, I'm happy with that. This is Expedition base set. Yes, next page before we move on to the EX era. Really like this ditto. Very primitive. <laughs> really, really like this one.
EX error. This one is quite cool. I believe this is from a deck. Um, was this? Was this from a uh, what? What deck was this? Let me search it up. Yes, look it up. This one is from a Flygon starter deck. Flygon starter deck. Interesting. This released an EX Dragon here and an uh, Latios uh, starter deck or something like that. Or trainer kit, I believe. Yeah. Interesting card. Also, another version of this Ludicolo is one released in just uh, EX Sandstorm here. You can see the symbol here. It resembles EX Sandstorm. This one came in the Latias. Uh, gift set or starter set, something like that, came in a small team deck essentially. So that's very cool. I do like it non hollow, if I'm honest. Very interesting view. Don't see that a lot. But the hollow is also just gorgeous, right? And uh, there's Explode, you can see here. And this, at the time, this was <laughs> one of. Uh, the favorite uh, things that uh, Kumia san worked on. He uh, was very, uh, had very much fun, you know, doing the up and down uh, brush motion. Uh, you can see it there, it looks very aggressive. <laughs> really cool one. Yes, up to the later half of EX era. Are there some crazy things to show here? Probably not, no. Had the difficulty finding this as well. Again, EX Team Rocket. That's an old set today. Good luck finding these. And this one is a mint. So I'm very happy to have that. Uh, most of these cars are mint. Most. Not all. Most of these cars are mint. I'm very happy getting that. Alright, next one. Yes. This is EX Legend Maker. Uh, this one is very interesting. This came in a special deck as well. I believe in the Mew starter deck. You can see Mew's set symbol here as well. There you go. There have been many team deck uh, cards in there, which is very interesting during that uh, specific era. Nothing crazy here, but um, it's funny. This one is way cooler in English with the holo, the reverse holo of the EX uh, Delta species and, and this and that. Really cool. I've told you about sport. EX World Champions pack. That, 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 nothing too much to explain here. This one, Meiji Chocolate promo, Fampy. We got it in Pop Series 4 or 5, something like that. Very cool. Pokemon card fan, one of my favorites as well. I really like the style of Kumiya Sam making human in Pokemon cards. Really, really cool in my opinion. And this is a place, uh, place uh, club promo, I believe. Uh, I don't know what's called again. Now we're on to Down the Pearl era. Um, if I'm really honest, not my favorite era. But there's some cool cards in there. Really like the, the Munchlax. I don't know why <laughs> Cherubi is very looking very um, mischievous, but same with uh, the Pachirisu and the Apom. A lot of them look, look very mischievous for some reason. <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> now these are just set cards, I believe. This one, no, th these are all set cards, I believe. Yeah. Okay, this one came in, uh, these two came in a special, was to introduce intro pack or something like that. These come in a special product, so these are more rare than you think, and so don't underestimate them. That's not set cards, came in a special product. So that's very cool. That's the only differences. Here's the Legend series. Got quite difficult time obtaining some of these reverses uh, and, then, and then in near mint condition as well so I am very happy to have these ticked off 
Personally, my favorite is the... Which my favorite? Probably the Taurus or the Hariyama. Yeah. This one looks very colorful as well. I believe it's like Sakura or something like that. Cherry Blossom tree. Black and white. Yeah. I, I did not like finding cards from this era. <laughs> this is the the Uniqlo competition promo or, or something like that. So... No, not competition. I believe Uniqlo had a, a collaboration with Pokemon. They were selling apparel, shirts to kids. And Tom Kaskumi actually made a t-shirt based on this with Zoroark. And they gave out a promo. Not don't remember why and how and how it, the details were, but Uniqlo promo, quite cool. And some of these are very, very hard to get, the Emilful. These three cards are from EX Battle Boost. I believe these were exclusive to EX Battle Boost as well. EX Battle Boost is the set that is, is it like a special set? If you know GX Battle Boost and GX Auto Shine is this kind of set, and I believe this is the very first set that is you know that was kind of there was never nothing like it before. Essentially, this was the first of its uh, of the set that had these mail foils. So in retrospect, very very important set EX Battle Boost. Legendary Treasures was the English variant, the very first special set, as in. We know today, you know, it was the, the grandfather of the, the high class pack sets. Sadly, this one is not mint, got a big indent, you can see it here, big line. But there was literally nothing available at the time on the market back in April and June or May. Very difficult to find, uh, and I'm very happy to have that one ticked off. Even the, the, the Hydreigon. Couldn't find this. You, you can't even see it's milfoil unless you look very, very good. I didn't find it in Japan. I had to resort to uh, eBay, and some French seller had it listed, and probably unaware that it was very difficult to find. The only thing, the only way I I could spot it is it's f much more dark in the upper corner here. And even then, you can you can't really make it out, but you can see the differences. But it's very very difficult to see. The text is literally identical, but yeah, the contrast is much darker here. You can see it here. It's the brightest point. Very difficult spot. Nonetheless, very happy to have that one ticked off. And it was like seven or five euros from eBay. Very happy. Nourishment as well. Are there any non set cards? No, there isn't, to my knowledge. So that's that. X, Y. Is there a card missing here? I, I have no idea. I hope I don't. <laughs> should be complete. Everything should be complete. Are there any differences here? Non set releases. No, not on this page. This is uh, CP2, Concept Pack 2. Was this the legendary Shine or Dream Collection? I believe so. This is very sparkly. It's the only way to get this card also as well. Very fancy, but you can, you can see sparks here. There's a rufflet, I believe. Uh, this is Pokecune Collection. Also, this is the only way this card came in. Nice foil heart shapes. And what I really am annoyed with is the English variant. This gulpin released, never got a reverse holo and never got any glitter. So it's just a blank holo card. No, um, a non holo card. Don't like that, really. Should, should have been at least reverse in generations. Some other cards that may be different. These two are 
reprint and this one is exclusive by the way this came in a special 20th anniversary starter set this one as well got the 20th anniversary logo stamp there you go Diglett's is exclusive the Ponyta not it released in flash fire here on XY2 originally so There you go. Next page. Yes. Here are some differences. And uh, this is the Pokekun promo. This is Psyduck with uh, Junichi Masuda. Very cool. Got the same heart holo as, well, holo as well. Very cool one. This is a reprint of the Cinequil from Breakthrough, I believe, or Breakpoint. This one got the, you know, the star foil. Very cool. And at the time, in 2020, 2019 and 18, I had difficulty finding this one as a single because most people would sell this as a set card, you know, with Chikorita and the, what's it called again? The, not Fragator. I, I don't know its name anymore. <laughs> The Gen 2 starters came, it was, was most, uh, mostly set, sold as a set. So, there you go. This is CP5, and I think this is the, the, the set with all the legendaries. Was it a legendary shine collection? I believe it me, so. Very cool card. And um, Kumir san also showed this in, in an art book how this was commissioned. Maybe I, I should show it. I'll just show it here. Just a second. Yes, there we are. I've got the, the Pokemon Trading Card Game Illustration Collection. This is the English variant, which released in the Mew and uh, Mew and Mewtwo EX. Was it the premium collection back in 2017 or 18? Or 16, I believe. Very long time ago. US, North America exclusive. So we had to import this from the USA, of course. Really, really, if you can get it, absolutely import it because it got so much valuable information in there and amazing art let's look at it amazing but we are here for this and you can pause this and probably read it on your own this is you can see the process from start to finish rough sketches for you know concept sketches there completed rough sketch this is so cool Here's how uh, he paints it. I'll zoom it in for you so can, you can read it. Really highly recommend just to read it if you if you can, right? Normally I would say just buy the book, but for the video for the for the sake of the video, we'll just here. I have a scanned uh, probably pictured prob properly. On my Poke Guardian Twitter account, I will link you in the description down below. But uh, there's the final image, and uh, yeah, a nice accord. This is the finished piece. I was told to give some advice to those who read this. Life is short, so fall in love with boys and girls. Hang in there until you get on your <laughs> parents' bedside. If they start to dislike you, or there's no basis for goodwill with them, then there are other fish in the sea. So engrave their memory in your heart, keep going, and you'll find happiness. And here said the illustration and artist comments can be also found on page 41. Let's find that. There it is in a big drawing. I have the postcard of this as well, the postcard, literally this artwork in a postcard, that's very nice. And here is the text of n number 5, Celebi. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll skip this for now, uh, we've seen enough. Calling too much sidetracked. Um, this is CP4, Merle foil version of Magna, Magna Might. Quite cool. Yeah, the sleeve is very scratched, but uh, it's not uh, not the foil. It's very tight fit. 
Yeah, that, that's it. Uh, nothing crazy here. These are all the promos. Okay, so next up, Sun and Moon. You can already see two here. What, this is Sun and Moon base, and then the Moon. And this is a starter deck, SMA. So, um, or was it a starter deck? I, I think it is. I believe this was a starter deck. So something to uh, keep in mind if you collect all the versions. Also, I uh, couldn't find this in Japan, had to import this from Europe. Quite cool to see. Nothing crazy here. These are all just from Shining Legends. It's been a long time. This is Jack's Battle Boost. And this is exclusive to the set, I believe. SM4 Plus, GX Battle Boost. This SM6, nothing crazy here. SMH, I believe this is a uh, theme starter deck card as well. Now we're into the second half of uh, Sun and Moon. This is GX Ultra Shiny. You can see the cracked ice foil, shadow, shadow foil hollow here. Quite cool. Nothing of the out of the ordinary. All these are set cards besides the this one. Or you know, repents. On to the final page, I believe. Yeah. This is Tag All Stars Mirror Foil, and it got its uh, regular version as well. I don't know if there's a non. Is no GX Battle Boost. Uh, that's why I don't have the non. The non holo doesn't exist. SM4 Plus was uh, all mirror foil, so each card was foil. That's insane to me, by the way. They stopped doing that for some reason. But all the cards are mirror foil, so this is the only way you can get a lot of Vulpix. Very interesting. And then they stopped with Tag All Stars, you know, the non holo is also in the set. Don't need to tell much about these, the Munch Screen promo. Probably have how many do I have? <laughs> I have a lot. Probably there's, there's more in there uh, in my collection. So tag was it tag tag bolt? Uh, was it yeah? Just a campaign. If you bought one or two booster boxes of uh, tag bolt at the time, you would get this Snorlax and EV special art promo. At the time, I was very happy to to saw that. I was very happy been a long time this is a um official technically officially it's a scarlet and violet promo no sky sword and shield promo this came in the the v starter deck but it still got the same sun and moon texturing essentially uh they you know a template so let's let's pull them out Set cards identical except for the copyright and the set symbol. But other than that, it's, it's identical. Uh, and uh, the, the numbering is uh, different because, again, it's part of uh, the, the V starter deck set list. Quite cool. Um, I had no real place for this, so I just m gave it a page on its own very lonely i know but it feels weird seeing older card in a new generation like this okay um are there any exclusives this is all good this is this is team deck the v star deck i believe this is same as well regular set and this is uh Shiny Star V. It's a reprint. And this got. I don't want to say. This is the infamous. The infamous. Reverse. Not many people like this. Comp I, I don't like this as well. Very faint as well. I don't know what they were doing. Thinking of at the time. When they made this. Uh, I want to say bubble or. Don't like that. This, this page is done. Um, second year of uh, 
Sword and Shield. These are all set cards. Yeah, the special art. Very, very cool. It's Eevee Heroes, uh, Skyscraping, Sky Stream, S8, was it Fusion Arts or something like that? I'm not sure, I believe so. 20th and 25th anniversary. There it is. <laughs> These are Star Deck 100. It's called SI. There are many. <laughs> Look, there are like six. So that's very interesting. Six of these. This is non holo. And the original is a holo card. Same with this one. Original is holo. Very cool to see. And then we are into. This is this is this Dark Phantasma, I believe so, yeah. This is Dark Phantasma or no, it's Battle Region. This is the very first of the Pokeball reverse hollows. Very cool. And this is Dark Phantasma. Quite cool to see. One of my favorite arts from Sword and Shield era. Why? I I've showed off before, but the Pokedex, if you read the Pokedex. Uh, there's a mystery on the, the back of uh, Bronzor and look at all these children running away. There's something bound to happen. So, uh, very... I'll leave the imagination up to you. I do think it's a very cool card with uh, a lot of lore behind it. And that's what the, the strength of Komiya's art is all about. The strength of, you know, Staying true to the Pokedex, essentially, and he expressed that very well. Pokemon Go, this is the sticker card with the Ditto logo. You can see it very faintly here. Hope the camera... No, let me show it off. Ditto sticker, very cool. It's a little bit thicker than the original, than the non-version. There's the original. This is an Incanescent Arcana Reverse. Not my very favorite, but... It's very cool to see nonetheless. And now we are into more recent territory. V-Star Universe. This is the Skyscraping Perfect and Blue Sky Stream promo. Got the nice dragon campaign logo here. And this is um, the Dark Cry V-Star starter deck. It's called SLD. So there, there you go. That is sword and shield done and now we are in uh, the more recent the current generation and uh, yeah this is where uh, it ends and it will continue out from these pages so still need the Rowlet, still need uh, the, the lechonk as well need the tanto promo as well that the hair gel the hair styling product collaboration yeah well, within 30 minutes, I'm happy, not an hour. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed uh, this journey together with me. And this journey, again, doesn't end here. It will continue, but in uh, incremental videos. Um, yeah. If you start, if you are going to start your own Japanese Tomokazu Kumiya collection, I hope you, I've, in, in the future, whatever period, this video will be up forever. If you ever are going to start a collection, I hope this video will help. Will have helped you out. Yes, and um, I hope you can uh, enjoy and collect his uh, artwork as well. His uh, his style has seen some change, maybe for the better, maybe for the for worse. But art is art. I really enjoy it for now, and he does as well. That's that's the most important one. And uh, yes, that's it for, for now. Like, comment, subscribe as usual. And um, if you have a Tomokazu Kumiya collection, let me know on Twitter. I, I would love to, sh to, to, to see yours. And have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye.